I just replaced these brakes. These are the best brakes. They are OEM AC Delco brakes, the original standard factory. I have a video on my channel to show you how to replace them and which ones I bought. So if you want to see those or how to replace those with the OEM brakes, you can check that out on the channel. Remove the caliper, then the caliper bracket to get this rotor off. Then we're going to get this uh, Torx T30 out. These are 19 millimeters for the caliper. For the calipers itself, the caliper bracket are 18 millimeter. What we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna heat this up. Um, we're gonna use some map gas, less than 10 bucks for this can. Guys, if you can find a nozzle like this for your torch, this is probably one of the best nozzles ever made, if not the best nozzle ever made. I had this for many years, they're tough to find like this. You can replace the tip. Amazing, amazing torch head. We're gonna heat that up in a matter of uh, seconds. So. Okay, guys, not much difference in size. These rotors are bad from someone letting the brakes sit on here for too long and run them almost to the metal. They're not scored on the back, guys. Not scored slightly. All that excessive braking on the front pads, which takes up majority of the load of the braking, and you let those pads run low like that, and these things get really hot, and they, they warp, they warp. They don't take long to warp, these warp. So you'll get some pulsating in a pedal. The pedal will be shimmying due to these are warped. This is not only gonna give us a better, smoother ride, but the braking, um, the truck will break better with these. They have these gouges and these holes to dissipate that heat. So uh, what we wanna do is guys, because they may look clean, but it's important to kinda clean these new rotors off it comes from the factory with a film of oil around the surface. You can't see it, but um, trust me, you smell the brakes burning. Uh, just an unusual smell. You know, you don't have to, but it's recommended that you clean all the new rotors, the surface of them at least. So you don't just clean it with some brake cleaner. Just both sides, just the rotor, just the surface, not where the lugs go. So, do both sides. Just a quick clean and we're gonna install this guy right now. This is a passenger side rotor. I didn't notice until I removed everything and I wanted to finish the video out, but if you look at the patterns, they should be going the opposite direction for the driver's side, but they sent me the correct one and I replaced it already, but, and they let me have this one. So I just wanna note that.
Okay, guys, we're done with this job. Don't forget to pump the brakes before you even start the vehicle. Otherwise, if you start the car, we have a tendency to just put the car in drive or reverse, and you will not have any brakes. You will crash um, into something. So it's important to pump the brakes even before you start the car until the pedal gets hard and you should be good. The next video on this car will be the rear uh, brakes and the rear rotors. We're going to change those out to upgraded rotors as well. I'm about to do the other side. I'm not going to film. I just want to show you guys this, how easy and quick it is to upgrade your rotors to the better rotors um, to get better braking with your vehicle and make those brake pads last um, at least 25% longer than standard. So uh, if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel. Terrence and I'm out.